What is up guys, from the here and today I'm going to bring you a story that's been plastered all over oh, What is that disconnecting and reconnecting? Oh, it's that stupid thing there What is up guys, from the here and today I'm bringing you something that's been what is up guys from Muno here and today I'm bringing you a vlog about a story that's been plastered over the papers um, since this morning and something that I've knew about from very early this morning like I don't know like seven eight nine o'clock something around that and um, basically I live in Derby and today there's been like a tragedy in Derby Um there's been like five deaths which are a bit like suspicious Um it is being treated as a murder and at the minute or murders sorry uh, of five young children um aged between six i believe it was or five five something like that five to around 10 or 11 um and yeah it's very very sad guys i actually deliver on my post round around like i, I go to a road that's called elton road and where this happened was on victory road and that is like parallel i just have to cross one road and it's there. I mean, it was all like cordoned off today by the police. You couldn't enter it. You couldn't get out of it. And and yeah. So basically, what's happened is, um, during the night at some point, a fire has escaped within this 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 fella's house or this family's house, and it's called tragedy. It's killed five children. Um, two more two more children are in hospital in like very serious conditions. Um, and like I said, it's been treated as a murder, guys. Um. They they are currently holding a person, and because I'm local to this, and I've got a lot of people on my Facebook who live in the area, um, there's been names flying around, and people have been ca causing accusations or giving accusations, and I know a few people um, who know this guy. I mean, I was delivering post today, and one of the one of my customers said, "Oh, you know, you remember Mick?" Um, so this guy obviously knew Mick. Um, the father of the children. I mean, you can readily get his name out of the paper. Uh, we'll give you a link to this. Um, I actually born up, brought up and bred in Allenton, Derby, guys. And yeah, it's just, I mean, I don't personally know him, but um, I actually know someone related to him. Um, I won't say her name, um, but she is um, a Philpot. Um, his name's Milfit, Phil, Mick Philpot, sorry. And yeah, I mean, I'd be devastated if this happened to me, guys. If I was sleeping in my own home and my house caught fire somehow, whether it be by accident or on purpose, and I couldn't get to my children, I hate to think like the despair that he was going through trying to get into that house. I mean, in the paper it says that he tried to smash windows and get through, but the fire crew prevented him from getting in there. If the fire crew prevented me getting... I mean, I would rather die and get my kids, or I'd rather come out like a burnt crust of coal and save my child's life or, or die I'd do anything for my children do you know what I mean I would walk out with fucking flames on my back die keel over as long as my children made it out alive and and I'm sure that's how he must have been thinking but like I say it's very very sad I mean these children haven't even begun to start their life yet and he I mean there was controversy surrounding his family um but he was happy, so were his children, so were his family. Um, if you don't know about his story, I will put a link in the description to it. I mean, he was recently on the Jeremy Cowell, Cowell show, and I'll put the link in the top corner now. It's just very sad, guys. I mean, like I said, I know a lot of people know this guy. and like He had 15 children. He had a wife and a girlfriend. Everything. He seemed happy, guys. I mean, I have actually seen him a few times just in the streets and stuff, and he seemed a very happy guy. And from what I know from his family... He he was a very a very sound guy, looked after his children and that's all people need to do in life. As long as you're happy, your kids are happy, your family are happy and people around you are happy, then nothing else matters guys really. So um I'll like I'll like I say I'll leave the links in the descriptions. My do you know what I mean, my heart goes out to their families. And especially the girl that I know, I mean, I've actually got her on Facebook and people have been like saying things and saying this and throwing names around about who did it and who caused the fire and what's happened but yeah my heart goes out to her especially i know her quite well and yeah guys peace out and um, i hope you I hope you enjoyed the video and yeah i'm just sorry that this has had to happen cheers guys peace. sorry for leaving it short there guys um yeah i was just thinking like i mean what if somebody has done this man um i know that around this area i mean the area that i grew up 
wasn't the best of areas to be honest with you um but you made it what it is um people got on with each other it's a bit like i don't know it's a bit like shameless everybody got on with each other it's, i mean it's probably not that scummy um a few streets are to be honest with you but i mean it's not i don't know what goes through somebody's head they obviously knew there would have been children in there and they just didn't care whether it was just a feud between two people you don't you don't do that when there's innocent lives such as children to meet um, a street that I delivered my post to, um, that had the same problem, a feud between two families, one guy put some petrol through the door, stuck a match through and lit the house up with seven people in it, and the man, fortunately in that case no one died, um, but this is a lot more severe, and lives have been spared for no reason, and I just think it's disgusting guys, just let me know in the comment section below what your thoughts are, and, and just leave some thoughts for the family guys, because Obviously, they'll be the ones that are hurting, and they're going to search YouTube and me now, I would, and stuff like that, see if anyone. And I just want you guys to just tell them what you think about the whole situation, guys. Cheers, bye. That is it for this time. Bye.